Hello nieces, hello nephews, it's your Uncle Charters here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do unbiased technical analysis and after a $14 drop from yesterday, the SPY decided to give us some choppy price action today, okay, we do have some potential catalysts for tomorrow, okay, we got some non-farm payrolls tomorrow, uh, non-farm private payrolls, unemployment rates, uh, you know, uh, average hourly earnings. So some economic data all at 8.30 a.m. tomorrow. So hopefully that can serve as some catalyst to give us some decent moves to trade. Unlike today, today was pretty choppy, okay? As far as NFP for tomorrow, expected number is 220K. I'm thinking if it comes in higher, it could be bearish, okay? But we're going to talk more about that. But I just want to ask you guys, please... Hit that subscribe button. Uncle is on the journey to 10K subscribers, but the next stop is 5,000. We need 99 more subscribers, so please help Uncle out, okay? Let's go. So yeah, as I mentioned, after a $14 drop, Spy decided to chop a bit, okay? Now, as you guys know, if you guys have been watching Uncle Charters' channel for at least the past month, I always like to talk about when spy enters a one directional or trend phase after that comes the choppy phase and the choppy phase leads to the eventual trend phase again okay these are the two market phases that happens quite often and happened this week actually okay where when we broke down 390 earlier this week we chopped okay gave us the next trend move to the downside and now here we are chopping again okay so hopefully with nfp tomorrow morning and the other economic data releases we can get some good uh good, nice catalysts to give us some tradable moves okay but despite the chop today okay i do want to mention that we are in break down mode once again okay so we lost 380 right we lost 380 yesterday this was after on tuesday when we tested that 390 level Hot stove rejection, I trust a rejection from a resistant level when it leads to the breakdown of a support level. Yesterday broke down the 380 fib level from one fib level to the next fib level. And today we broke down another critical level, guys. I mentioned yesterday 371.6 level is the multi-month retracement, uh, the multi-month Trend line, okay, not retracement level. Trend line from October, uh, September 2020, connecting to October 2020, connecting to the June 2022 lows, okay? We are in break breakdown no mode. We broke that down. Also, we broke down the 20-day moving average. 20-day moving average was at 371.9. I think I mentioned to you guys the 370, uh, 372 level. I'm not sure if I did. Okay, but definitely, I definitely mentioned in the Discord. So if you guys want some extra content from Uncle Charters, definitely join the Discord. But breakdown mode, guys. 20 day moving average as well as my multi year trend line. All right. So we are entering Friday as far as the spy goes. Spy is entering Friday pretty bearish. Okay, looking at this RSI, we are not, the condition for the RSI is not oversold. So if there is more downside, in my opinion, spy definitely has the energy to bring to, to to give us more downside okay of course with the data economic data releases tomorrow you know flip a coin okay it could change things all right so yeah just you know technically we are still in an uptrend from october 20 uh october low all right so just keep that in mind guys so bulk uh bulk case scenario is quite simple recapture the 20 day moving average okay we lost that literally at, at the end of the day but you can see here, at the end of the day, you know, no coincidence, in my opinion, no coincidence, because we did have a, a um, you know, head and shoulder pattern right there, all right? Head and shoulder pattern, I'm not an artist. And it's breaking down my neckline, I had the neckline around 371.5, 372 zone, okay? So, like I said, at 371.6 level, as well as at 20-day moving average, I gave it a zone in, in my Discord, 371.5. The 372 you know we broke that down so recapture that recapture that that will give us a false breakdown setup okay and then i got a level around 374 uh excuse me 374 to 373.5 zone okay you guys can see that um oops you guys can see that intraday intraday these yellow lines right here not these yellow lines i'm gonna take these out 
but the horizontal yellow lines, you can see that zone was well respected three times. Well, not three times, more than three times, but based on a 15 minute candle. But yeah, it was well respected intraday. Okay, so if it recaptures 372, false breakdown, needs to clear 374 to trigger more upside, 376, 378, and back test of that big breakdown level of 380, which is the 38.2 retracement level. Okay, that's the bull case scenario. Recapture the 20 day moving average at 372, clear 374 to trigger more upside. Okay, look for calls. Look for calls if the false breakdown setup presents itself. Okay, but we are in breakdown mode. As long as below 372, highest. As long as below that, okay, 372 is highest. It defends as resistant level. I do have more downside, okay? Got a support around 369, and below that is 367.84, the 23.6 FIB level. From August high, August high pivot, August pivot high down to the October pivot low, okay? 367.87 fails, I'm favoring more downside. Look for puts, okay? I'm favoring the relief rally is over. I'm still bear buyers as long as below 380, but like I said, Uncle Chartis is the sheep, okay? With the price action is my shepherd. I'm following the price action. So my sentiment is always based on a condition and is always subject to change. Okay, guys? So that's the bear, bull case scenario, recapture 372. As long as below 372, Uncle is bearish with uh, more downside in play 370, 369, 367, 84, 366, okay? And 364 below that, all right? Please add the levels to your charts, okay? And this uh, this right here, this October 7th, this is the last NFP, all right? This 830 right here, October 7th, the last time we had NFP data, it came in higher than expected. Big drop. Big, big drop, okay? So let's see if that happens again. Or if it coming lower than expected, we could get a bullish reaction, okay? But at the end of the day, price action is the shepherd. Triple Q, okay? Here's triple Q. You guys see my blue trend line here? Okay, from August high, connects to the September high. Uh, got a touch here on October 18th and a breakout on October 21st. We broke back below that level guys so the tech sector triple q the nasdaq all the happy stuff whatever you want to call it that is a false breakout setup okay we are listen triple q is entering tomorrow with a bearish setup all right so in my opinion it needs to recapture 262 recapture 262 and recapture 264 which it couldn't do today and then we could talk, okay, about bullish price action. We got a gap around 250, uh, 265.6s. I got a level around 269s that needs to recapture if you want to be bullish. Okay, the big level we broke down was 273 to 23.6 FIB level, okay, from August high down to October low. All right, recapture some levels. Give us that false breakdown setup. But as of right now, the same way spies in breakdown mode, Triple Q is in breakdown mode, but based on the context of this price action of this chart, that's a false breakout bearish setup of this blue trend line. Okay, so as long as 262 hold highest, this breakdown holds. Okay, look for calls of 262 is recaptured. Okay, makes sense. Um, yeah, now Tesla here um, is holding at 213 level. Okay, managed to you know hold above. Okay, I can't really say it's bearish or bullish right now, but if it if it can close below 213 tomorrow, that will definitely be bearish with 211, 208, 206.8, and lower price targets in play. Okay, I got a support around 203.5-ish, 202, and 198.7-ish. Okay, to be bullish, is right now is around 215.5-ish. Sorry about that. Right now is around 215.5-ish. It just need to recapture some critical resistant levels. All right. I got some levels at 222 uh, with the critical one at 225 and 226 zone. All right. With 230, 233, and 237 above. Guys, all I'm saying is play the pro just play the setups, you know, level to level. Keep the process simple, okay? Tomorrow's Friday. Let's end the week strong. All right? Um, yeah, let's end this with option flow. 
We'll go to the SPY filter for 500k premiums or above. 80% in the puts entering tomorrow, okay? Not seeing anything that sticks out. No big size order that meets my criteria. But big money is bearish on the SPY right now. Triple Q, big money is overall bearish on it. This is an interesting one. It's a split order, so not too aggressive, but 5.5 million premium. 5,000 in size. Expiration day is next year, September 15th, okay? Got some leaps coming in here. Somebody think it's a good time to accumulate those, all right? And uh, last but not least, Tesla, 100% in the puts, okay? Look at this one, uh, January 20, 2023 expiration date. So this got time, but the the strike price, 170, over 15,000 inside, 11.1 million premium sweep order that's highly aggressive all right that's a highly aggressive bearish uh trade that this whoever this person is or whoever they are is taking okay guys now thank you guys so much for watching if you want more uh content from uncle charters please consider joining my discord it will mean so much to me please hit the subscribe button hit the like button uh you can also subscribe to my sub stack that would be great too all right and support the channel all right thank you guys peace